welcome back to the channel everybody this is codations in today's video i'm gonna be bringing you guys five tips that you should absolutely be taking advantage of right now Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen, for the very first tip that you guys absolutely should be taking advantage of, and that's going to bring us to the overall today's bounty section. If you head over here to the daily wards in the bottom right-hand side, you will see over here on Sunday, we have the ability to collect all sugar crystals and all skill powders. And with the most recent update of them introducing magic candies into the game, every single player is looking to farm as much sugar crystals as they possibly can. Well, utilizing a day like Sunday that is dropping all three of them per individual run, it's an absolute good idea. Yes, a good idea, even as a free-to-play player, to spend some of your crystals to do additional runs. And not only that, especially with an event like the burning time event we have here, awarding additional ones. So to give you guys an example here, the burning time event that's currently going on for two more days and nine hours, you can see here that we're getting four additional sugar crystals per bounty run. Now, speaking of sugar crystals here, let's dive into tip number two, and that's going to be how to farm sugar crystals in the new master's mode in world exploration efficiently. Let's dive in here to the world exploration. You can see we're currently underneath the master's mode, and you can see that on certain stages here, you can actually get those additional crystals, right? Each individual stage offers different types. The last one for the espresso stage on 1-3 was strength. Now this one here on 1-4 is going to be arcane. And now where the tip comes into play here, if you guys are specifically looking to farm out these soul crystals to level up the magic candies and you're not looking for these soul cores for the individual cookie, then absolutely avoid the soul core stages and then farm the specific sugar crystal you're looking for on a stage in between that does not offer soul cores. So to give you guys an example here, take a look at 1-3 and then 1-5, right? If we click on 1-3, we go in, you can see it's going to cost us 28 stamina in order to do this run. However, if we go here to 1-5, you can see as well with licorice, it's going to cost us 28 stamina in order to do the run. Instead, it's going to be better value to go and find a stage that does not offer soul cores, but it still offers the exact same, you know, sugar crystals that you need because check this out. It's literally going to cost you less than half. It only runs 11 stamina here to do a in-between stage versus the 28 it does to run a stage that offers soul cores. Now that's going to dive us into tip number three and that's going to bring us back into the master's mode and strictly this tip is all about do not sleep on the master's mode. As you can see here on the overall master's mode we're currently in episode two on 2-18 you have the ability to actually farm out vampire soul core and again because you absolutely want to make sure that you are maxing out vampire as soon as possible to take advantage of that you do not want to be sleeping on the master's mode. And the same thing goes here for Cotton and Eclair. Both of them can be farmed out via the episode four of the brand new master's tier definitely going to be a very good investment to get in here spend all three of your runs per day and not only that might even be worth spending 200 crystals to get an additional soul core whenever you see the need now, diving into the fourth tip we've got for you guys today, and that's going to bring us into the mileage shop and mileage points. Now, if you do have a level 10 old pilgrim scroll treasure and you've got that additional mileage point still sitting there, then I would honestly recommend going through and picking and buying the soul stones for specific cookies that have a lot of bonds. So to give you guys an example, that would be cookies like Madeline cookie, cookies like, you know, snow sugar would be another one. You've got herb and then you've also got like chili pepper. All of those have a lot of bonds. So to take advantage of getting those to five star first will benefit you and it's also worth mentioning here that once you have a full five star promotion on a cookie and you start pulling soul cores then you're going to be receiving double the mileage points versus if you were just pulling soul stones so absolutely worth getting in here buying the soul stones that you need to achieve those five star promotions and complete those bonds now diving into the fifth and final tip we've got for you guys today and that's going to bring us into buying the skull island resort from the overall decoration shop for 5,000 crystals. Now, more than ever, man, the Skull Island Resort is absolutely going to offer a ton of value by providing you more stamina. As you guys can see here at a max level 10, the Skull Island Resort is going to be producing an additional 40 stamina per 15 hours. Absolutely valuable, especially when it comes to farming these new resources. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our video for today on five tips that you guys can be taking advantage of right now. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any additional questions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. And with that being said, guys, as always, I'll see you on the next one.